Hi, welcome back to Gray is Gorgeous. Today we're going to be trying out a new palette that I saw at the Dollar Tree. It is the Shadow by Number uh, Quad Palette. And I thought I would pick this up and give it a try. It is the Rocket Science. And it looks like it has colors in it that will go well, whether you have green eyes, brown eyes, or hazel eyes. So I wanted to give it a shot and do it on camera so we check it out. Um, I love LA Colors, as you know. I love their eyeshadow formulation. I think it goes on well. I think it wears all day. It doesn't really crease. Their shimmers aren't super shimmery. And I love their color selection. And of course, you can't beat the price. So. Let's get started. Here we are with this quad, and um, it's cute, right? It looks like, it almost looks like something from Lancome, actually. It's quite nice. I mean, the packaging's a little flimsy, but. And it has, um, they are numbered, as you can see, one, two, three, four, and then on the back, it shows you the, um, where to put them. So we're going to do that, and I think we're going to try two different looks. We'll try one on one side and one on the other and see how, how we do. All right, as you know, I, um, it's probably a good idea to use um, a shadow base of some type to help prevent your shadow from creasing. Um, I don't like eyeshadow primer. Um, the ones I've tried, I haven't really cared for. So I just use my concealer. And that seems to work fine. So if you'd like to do that, um, I got my eyebrows on already, so we're ready to go. All right, so we're going to look at the back here, which is going to require me to keep putting on my glasses and taking them off. But here we go. All right, so it's giving us a look on the back. It's telling us to put number two all over the lids, which is this shimmery shade. So let me show you around this palette. And then it's saying put number uh, two on there, put number three in here, kind of crease. This is number three. It's a, it's a really nice, like, I can't say it's like a grayish plum color, I want to say. It's not picking up too well on the camera here. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of a grayish plum color, I would say. And then it's saying number four, which is also a purpley, bluish purple color here, kind of grayish. These are cool shades. That goes in the outer crease. And then for the highlight, which is one just underneath the brow, it's saying number one here. This is a beautiful color. This is like a t silver taupe. It's really pretty. So that's the color story. And as you and they're butter, they're smooth like butter. Um, I just love their formula. In fact, this formula actually feels even better. Um, what a beautiful color story here. So, uh, so let's do what they recommend on this side. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and use my my let's see my BS Mall brush set this brush set that I had on my channel and I'm going to use this placement brush this one here because I want to get a little bit of color saturation it doesn't have a lot of dust off you know seems like it's gonna a little bit there when you tap Let me get my mirror around here so we can see what we're doing I just love their shadows I I, I just don't know that I could beat them. All right, if I went with a, a high-end brand. So this goes on the lid. So if I put that on the lid. All right, and then it says, and I'm going to still use that same same brush. So we're going to go two on the lid, and then we're going to go three. And where they're having us put this beautiful plum shade is right in here. I'm going to go three in here. 
probably kind of the hooded where the hooded lid kind of starts where you would put a darker color and bring it out to the end here but it just says in this area here doesn't want you to bring it um, all the way to the back but we're going to do that we're just going to go ahead and spread it out a little bit and i'm just kind of pat placing and pressing rather than rocker arm or anything like that because i really want to be particular where i'm placing since i'm using four colors I normally don't use four colors when I use eyeshadow. I normally use two. Um, I use a dark one and a light one. So since we're using four, got to put them in the proper place. So I'm just going to bring it all the way back to this point here. And I think it may even actually say that. It says three. Increase apply shade three blending well. Okay, so this is still the crease. So we do pull it back over here, even though the picture shows that it looks like it's in just this area, but you want to put it on the whole crease. So that explains that. I guess I should read, huh? <laughs> okay. All right, so that color's in the crease, and I blended it out pretty nice, pretty well. All right, so that's three, and then four is this beautiful dark. Oh, I just love these colors. They're so classy. I, um, I'm going to wipe my brush off there, and we're going to go into this one. And again, I'm still using the same brush. I'm not changing the brush. And this one, it says, um, at outer edge of crease, apply shade four. So this is going to darken this a little bit. Again, I'm just kind of pat placing, as you can see. These sh these shadows are so um, beginner friendly that um, they have enough pigment, but they don't have too much. So I'm going to say they're somewhere in the medium range. Cover Girl, which I dearly love, you know, they're they're classic three pan shadows and they're four pan shadows and five pan shadows. Um, those ones are, the pigment isn't too great on those, but you may like those, but they're great if you're just starting to like, maybe you just started to go gray and you wanted to like wear a little bit of makeup, but you don't want to wear a lot. And you're kind of experimenting. Um, LA Colors is great. So I would say they're probably fall somewhere in the medium as far as um, pigment. Is concerned cover girls more like although cover girls new ones like their bigger pans their 10 pans palettes are pigmented and these little these little four pan palettes that they have these are very pigmented too I'm talking about the real the old-fashioned ones you know what I'm talking about the the three pan and all right so that's on the outside and if you want to go back with a blending brush you can I would probably use something fluffy like I'm gonna use this be a small fluffy here make sure there's no other color on there and you could just go through and just kind of go over this a little bit and just kind of make sure you pick up any excess just kind of blend it out all right and then we're going to do what is the next step here Okay, so we did two, three, and four. Now we're going to do one, and one is the highlighter. This color is so pretty. I This really looks like a Lancome palette. This is a, this color is so, so pretty. It's like a grayish. I can't, can't even say. It's like a grayish color. So for that, we're going to go ahead and let's see if I have another brush for that. No, let's go ahead and use the placement brush once again, and I'm just wiping this off on some, um, wipe it off on a towel, whatever you have handy there. These brushes are great for that because the, the product comes off quite easy. And All right, so let's just go under the brow here with this color. It's going to also just pat place this a little bit. 
little highlight right there. Okay, that's it. That eye's done. And then I'm going to take, I'm not going to use any conventional liner. Um, I'm going to take the darkest color in the pan. This is kind of what I always do. And I'm going to use this as liner. And you know, this one single brush that I've used so far on this eye look, I'm going to use this to, to put on my liner as well because it has a nice rounded edge on it and it's pretty flat. So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to go into number four there. Yeah, I'm always impressed with the quality of LA Color. And then I'm just going to go, you can pull your lashes down if you'd like gently. And I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to kind of brush it onto the side or you can just place it by stippling a little bit. And what this does is it just, it just gives you a really nice diffused line without using liner and it I just think it's such a better way to do to accent your eyes and I just go on the outer half I don't go all the way across although we could go all the way across it makes it a little bit more dramatic but in order to keep my um, my hooded lid receded I don't like to put a lot of dark color down here because if I have too much dark down here it changes the look altogether um, and it doesn't give you a shading difference between the light and the dark which is what kind of hides the hooded lid so I just go in halfway here look at how natural that is it's kind of not natural, but it's just like a diffused line. It's not a harsh, harsh, you know, line. All right, so that's that eye right there. And we'll go with the mascara here in a minute, but I'm going, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So I'm just going to use the same hair clip so I don't see the other. All right, so now I'm going to try my own look on this side um, because I wanted to play around with this palette. So that's how it recommends that you put it on, and it's a lovely look. I really like it. But on this side, I'm going to do something a little bit different. With number one all over my lid instead of number two. I've seen looks like this on YouTube, and I love this color are so pretty. Like I said, it's very different from the classic. Now these are shimmers, in case you're wondering. The top two are shimmers, the bottom two are semi-mattes. Alright, so this is more of a silver, silver taupe, I would say, on that side. That's kind of pretty, huh? I like that. All right. And then I'm going to still using the same brush. Haven't changed yet. Okay. I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use number three in the crease, just like we did on this side. Pick up some color on that. I'm going to go three in the crease. Sometimes it's fun to just play, you know, try out colors and see. I love eyeshadow, but I also, uh, you know, I also sometimes just don't want to wear eyeshadow either so sometimes I just well sometimes I'll just take this darker color in whatever palette I have and just use it as liner and don't do anything else so I'm 
All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and take that same silvery color and I'm gonna use it up underneath my brow line. So this is a two pan look, or yeah, two pan versus a four pan. And I'm still gonna use the same brush here because see how clean it wipes off just so nicely. All right, so I'm just gonna go up, put that highlighter right under there. Nice. Okay, so see the difference between the two sides? It's a different look. This is like a lighter look. This looks a little darker. Of course, I do have the liner on this side, so I, um, let's see. And I'm going to go ahead and use that same flathead brush. It just goes to show when you have good eyeshadow, you really don't need a ton of brushes. You know, something to place it, something to blend it. Um, all right, so we're going to go in with number three. And then I'm just going to go on that line again. Kind of stipple tap. And if you'd like to put it underneath your eyes as well, you know, just in this area here. Um, go for it. Um, I don't like liner underneath my eye. I think it closes my eye down a bit. Um, so I don't I don't do that. I think it looks better if it's just on top, but that's just me. Everybody's different. Everybody's eyes are different. Shapes are different. Definitely do what you need to what you need to do. All right, so that see how that's more of a subtler look from this side. It's definitely more subtle. It would be like a daytime look. This is probably more of an evening to nighttime look. That darker color, so. But definitely still beautiful and I still like it. It's back. <laughs> Cowgirl exhibitionist. <laughs> um, I deliberated. I know, I deliberated. Um, but I do like this mascara a lot. I do, do love this mascara. And you know, I'm limited in the mascaras I can get because I don't like black. I do, okay, let me rewind. I do like black. I love black. But it's so hard to get off of my lashes at night. You just keep wiping and wiping and wiping. And no matter what I take to take it off, it's just so... You know, and it's a little bit harsh too. So I prefer the black brown. And not all black brown are made the same. Some of them have a more brown than black. I like a black brown where it has more black than brown. Um, and that limits me in my choices because not all companies have like Flower Beauty. I was going to try one of hers. She doesn't have, she just has black. And, um, you know, a lot of Wet n Wild love their, love their mascaras, but the only option is black. So I am limited, however, <laughs> um, in that regard. So I do love CoverGirl's products. As you know, I'm a CoverGirl lover from my very first, was it my first or second video I did where I put one of those, <laughs> um, shadows on and the cover girl and so you'll know I just have always loved loved cover girl and I think they hit it out of the park uh their blushes hit it out of the park their color the pigment the everything the price everything I think their mascaras are good I think this is exceptionally good high quality product for cover girl I do like also we're going to be putting on um, the love me blush which I the minute I bought this I knew I would love it and it has you know it hasn't left my my makeup caddy every day I put it on so I really love it so let's break open a new one And this wand is kind of like hourglass shaped. I don't know if you can see that. Slightly. And 
and the formula is good. No flaking, no smearing, no smudging. This is not waterproof, but I think it comes in waterproof. I also love the supersizer still. I have to tell you that too. But, so I like to change my mascaras out like every three months. Now, if I want wow wow with the with this mascara, I've got to put it on front and back. I gotta coat both sides of the lashes. That's my trick. So see, I just coated both sides. This side has one coat on the bottom, just going up like normal, and this I just put on another coat on top. So see what the difference is. Definitely, is different. If I just go like this underneath, I don't, I'm not going to get that wow wow look. See, so if I want that, I got to go on top. I just curl it up right on my lashes. I don't feel like this dries out my eyelashes either. I think it's really good. So, and you can put more coats on if you'd like. It builds up real nice, it gives volume. The separation isn't great on this. I, I'll, I'll tell you right now. See how my, um, how they're clumped, not clumped, how the lashes stick together. So with this product, if you don't like that, if you want your lashes to be very separate, um, then this is not the product. Um, this is not the one that's going to do that for you. I think the rubber. Um, I guess the rubber applicators are better. This is a standard brush applicator, so you're going to get more product on your lashes, and um, more product on your lashes means that there would be a tendency for them to stick together, where when you have the rubber applicators, um, rubber or plastic, it kind of goes in and it, and it, it really separates, you know, it really pulls through pulls the product through better. The brush kind of deposits more and the plastic applicator, yeah, brushes it through better. So there we go. But I love it and um, it's a winner in my book. Winner, winner. All right, so I'm going to use for my foundation what I've been using for a while and that is the Physician's Formula um, uh, mineral mineral wear with SPF 30 and as you can see I have almost used this completely up and I have to say it was a stopgap because I ran out of my bare minerals but I really like it <sighs> it's really good <laughs> it's really good it's really good just to wear. See, I'm putting it right over my lotions. You can put it right over your sunscreen and your lotion. And you don't have to wear a liquid foundation. And it just blurs your skin. And one thing that I like about this mineral wear versus the other ones that I've tried in drugstore. And even against the Advanced Radiance Powder, which I think the Advanced Radiance Power Powder has enough pigment to be worn just as I did wear it as a foundation, much like I'm doing right now. But it, the advanced powder is more powdery. This one kind of has, the texture is different. It's more, it's not as drying. I guess that's what I'll say. It's not as drying. It feels like there's something to it, you know? And that may be the squalene that's in there but it feels like there's something to it. You really don't need a lot to blur, you know? You just need a, a couple passes of your brush and it, it's, it's a beautiful powder, really. For $15, it's a beautiful powder, depending on where you buy it. If you buy it at Walmart, you could probably get it for 15, 16 bucks, I think, right? I'll have to check that, don't quote me on that. It's really just a beautiful, high-quality powder, I have to say. It's good. And 30 SPF, that don't hurt, right, ladies? And because it's mineral, it's not chemical sunscreen. So, um, really, just a winner in my book. This stuff is great. I really, 
I really think it's good. And during the end of the day, I wear a mask all day to work. And you'd think with all that breathing and the moisture and it'd be all cakey, wakey. No, like I was looking in, I was in the car and, um, and I was looking at my skin and after a long day's work and I was like, wow, it's not really settling into fine lines. It looks really supernatural. It doesn't even look like I have any makeup on. And I just, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed for drugstore. I'm completely impressed with this. And I didn't think I would like this color. This is the translucent, and I don't think it's actually translucent. I, I, as you can see, it does, it has pigment. You know, that's pigment right there. So, but the texture of it, it's like so silky smooth, and it feels like it has a moisture base in it. So what I do, because it's a little bit pale, as you can tell from my complexion, I go ahead and take my BS Small fluffy brush and I go into the Flower Heat Wave um, bronzer, which is great by the way. <laughs> and I put that on and then that just brings it up like one shade. See that? Done. So I don't mind the color because I looked at the next color up and it looked a little bit orangey for me. So. I'm gonna, if I repurchase, it's gonna be the translucent for me. And I guess I would consider myself fair to light skinned. All right, so let's go in with our CoverGirl blush with, in Love Me. And wow, I love this blush. I love that it has that shimmer. It has a little shimmer to it, so it just gives your skin life. And I love that they went to the round pan size, don't you? Aren't you so happy about that? Because those little square, those little ones they have, the mini blushes, I love those. The colors are numerous and the price point is great. But that little pan, when you stick your brush in, it kind of ruins your brush because your brush is inevitably bigger than the pan. So your brush gets chewed up by the sides. That's... That's the only thing. I think they should make those ones round, like mini round ones. That'd be great. But look at that color. It's just so pretty and it has a little sheen. It just brings life to your... All right, great. So that's the blush on and done. On and done. And then we're going to go in with some lipstick here. I picked this up. This is the Wet n Wild, and this is their moisturizing, because, right ladies, we need the moisture. I do. This is the High Shine Brilliance, and this is the Made for Mauve color. <sighs> Look at that color, so pretty. Made for Mauve. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Loves it. Okay, so add a little bit of something else on so I'm gonna wipe that off mm. I think you know I may go with a little bit of lip liner and this is not like me <laughs> normally I don't wear lip liner if I can find it if I can't find it I had it here where did it go here it is this is the Ulta Beauty Automatic Lip Liner in Shimmering Mauve. And I don't know if they have this color anymore. And I'm gluten free, by the way. So, um, so I can't have products. with gluten in it because it would be fatal for me. Uh, so I'm not doing it just, you know, as a fad thing. It's because I have celiac disease, which is, you know, you can't eat gluten. So I have to look for products. Anything that I put near my mouth, in my mouth, around my mouth has to be gluten-free. And Ulta's some, not all of their products, but but their lip products, some, some, of their lip products are gluten-free not all but so when you go into Ulta 
look at the you have to read under each product it'll say if it's gluten-free uh, if you're like me and that's what you gotta do what you gotta do so I can't just use any brands lipstick and I can't use any brands um, lip liner so here we go oh this color ladies this is a good one mm -hmm. this is a good neutral this, I could see this on a lot of women, this color. This is a good uh, a mauve, and it's very true to what you see here. It's actually even better. Ooh, creamy. Creamy. Uh-huh. This is a winner. Okay, I'll put it down in my description box for you. Couple bucks. High shine, brilliance. Very creamy, buttery formula. It's um, Mad for Mauve. And I believe that after all of these years, Wet n Wild has said that their lipsticks are gluten-free. Um, I have instinctively known that, even though I never called the company because I would try on their lipsticks, you know, and I, I've never had a problem. Um, however, Maybelline, I do not think theirs are gluten-free. So I love their lipsticks, but I I can't have them and, you know, so. Anyway, if you're looking for a gluten-free one, look at how pretty that color is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I don't know if this is a new one that just came out. It doesn't say new. No, I think I had this one before. Did I have this one before? You know what? I don't even remember. But I like, uh, I know I, I, I had, I did that one video with all of the lipsticks. I think I had one and it wasn't, it wasn't the shine one. It was the matte one. But I, I, I need moisture. So that is a pretty color. Oh my, I didn't realize how pretty that was. Okay, good. All right, well, there we go. Put my hair down here. There we go. All right, so um, great, good for a dollar. <laughs> okay, the packaging is an Uber. Um, it's kind of a little flimsy. It's got the you know flat top, but you know it looks like long comb, doesn't it? <laughs> so for a dollar, if you're looking for a good deal, great shadow. Uh, try Ella Girls at the Dollar Tree. Thank you so much for watching. As always, click subscribe, click like if you like the content, and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.